Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. And the same concept of, you know, when water turns to ice and expands is a reason why we get the uh, cracks in the roadways and potholes that melting and refreezing causes the uh, the roadway to buckle and crack and you get cracks and potholes uh, with the frost quakes. It's on a much larger scale underneath the ground as far as a uh, huge sheets of ice expanding and making that noise. So pretty interesting as we check out live pinpoint Doppler 12 radar. Hey, no snow. <laughs> Good for a change. We are clear, cold and dry. Of course, one of the coldest Februarys on record and a snowy one, too. As we all know, this uh, late last night, early this morning, on the order of one to four inches of snow. So you add that all up and we are now at the snowiest February on record. 2015, 31.6 inches living in historic snow times here. Uh, the old record back in 1962 of 30.9. Of course, 1978, pretty famous with the blizzard at the 28.6. So the threat tracker in the low category tonight through at least early tomorrow morning will notch it up just a shade into the medium zone as far as a little bit of light snow, perhaps some slippery travel. But as I mentioned before, an all out snowstorm is, is unlikely. I'll show you why. Then tomorrow night back into Friday, we'll get back into the uh, low category, some quiet but cold weather. Temps now in the low to mid 20s. We'll head down to about 10 to 15 during the overnight hours. So for tomorrow morning, initially it's a dry start. Then late morning we'll see a little bit of light snow. Clear skies in Providence right now. The temperature coming in at 25. The air is dry at 42%, so nice and quiet. Smithfield coming in at 23. So temperatures cold, but at least it's not sub-zero. We've had many nights uh, this winter season, especially during the month of February, where temperatures have gone below zero. Though Coventry is down to 16, Smithfield 21, and mid-20s along the south shore. Moisture across the southeast, as we talked about earlier, the thrust of this is going to pass out to sea to our south, and it's a miss. So a big snowstorm, no, as that shield of heavy snow stays just offshore. But the very northern fringe of this precipitation will graze our area tomorrow, especially uh, near the south shore. And as a result, the best chance of seeing any minor accumulations would actually be near the coastline, the Cape and the islands. Future cast shows as well. Overnight, we are clear, cold and dry. Then the clouds stream in by tomorrow morning, waking up the cloudy, cold, dry conditions early in the morning. And then by late morning, early afternoon, especially point south and east of Providence, some light to moderate snow. It's out of here by tomorrow evening and tomorrow night with clearing skies and dry conditions. No more than a dusting to an inch south of Providence to the north of that, barely any snow. And along the immediate south shore, especially out towards the Cape and the islands where the most snow will fall, just about one to two inches. Again, most of us in that dusting to one inch range, just enough to cause a little slipperiness in the afternoon. Dry in the morning and then some snow during the late morning and early afternoon hours. Temperatures colder than today between 20 and uh, 25 degrees. All right, seven day future cast, cold, dry, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Next chance for precipitation Sunday night into Monday morning, a little bit of light snow, and then another chance Tuesday night into Wednesday with a mix of rain and snow. What's unique about that seven day? The weekend is actually storm free. So many weekends we've had problems. This weekend we can rest easy and sleep. Enjoy it. Sleep. All right. Thank you, Tony. Coming up